For decades, the United States Navy relied on brute force, massive destroyers, imposing cruisers, and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers that project power simply by existing on the horizon. But in the early 21st century, the nature of threats began to change. The enemy wasn't always a rival superpower with a matching fleet. Sometimes it was a fast-moving smuggling boat, a pirate skiff, or a terrorist cell operating out of shallow mangrove swamps where a 9,000-ton destroyer couldn't dare to tread. To answer this challenge, the Pentagon's Office of Force Transformation knew they had to throw away the rulebook. They had to stop thinking about displacement hulls and steel armor and start thinking about aerodynamics, carbon fiber, and hydrophysics. The result of this radical shift in thinking emerged in 2006, looking less like a boat and more like a prop from a Batman movie. Designed by the M Ship Company and built by the Yacht Masters at Knight & Carver in San Diego, it was low, wide, angular, and menacingly dark. It was the M80 Stiletto. And even now, in 2026, two decades after its keel was laid, it remains one of the most unique and capable platforms in the American arsenal, a floating laboratory for the future of special operations. Imagine standing on a foggy coastline at dawn. The water is calm, the air is still. Suddenly, a shape materializes out of the gray, not cutting through the water, but seemingly gliding just above it. There is no roaring bow wave, no churning wake trailing miles behind to mark its passage. It moves with an eerie silence for a vessel of its size. By the time you hear the low hum of its engines, it is already past you, disappearing into the mist as quickly as it arrived. This is the M80 Stiletto in its element. Technically classified as a maritime assault craft, the Stiletto was designed as an experiment in capabilities. The design philosophy was centered on a single, overwhelming objective – to deliver a Navy SEAL team into a hostile environment faster, smoother, and quieter than any existing craft. The first thing that strikes an observer is the shape. It doesn't have a traditional hull. It doesn't even have two, like a catamaran. The M80 Stiletto features an innovative pentamaran design a complex arrangement of five distinct hull bodies. This isn't just for aesthetics, it is a masterclass in fluid dynamics. The patented double M hull technology captures the vessel's own bow wave and channels it underneath the ship. Instead of fighting the water, pushing it aside and creating drag, the stiletto rides on top of a cushion of air and foam created by its own movement. This hydrodynamic sorcery achieves two things. First, it obviates the traditional hull speed limitations of displacement craft, allowing the 88-foot vessel to reach speeds in excess of 60 knots, around 110 kilometers per hour. Second, and perhaps more importantly for the men inside, it creates an exceptionally stable ride. In a traditional high-speed boat, hitting waves at 50 knots feels like driving a car over a field of boulders. The physical toll on the crew can be exhausting, leading to fatigue before the mission even begins. The stiletto, however, absorbs the energy of the waves. It floats over the chop, ensuring that the SOF inside arrive at the target fresh, alert, and ready to fight. There is a trade-off, of course, the five slim hulls create a larger wetted area compared to a mono hull, which theoretically increases drag friction. However, the lift generated by the air cushion effect at high speeds more than compensates for this, allowing the stiletto to defy the usual physics of naval architecture. The innovation of the M80 stiletto extends beyond its shape to the very materials of its construction. In 2006, building a ship of this size almost entirely out of carbon fiber composite was a bold gamble. Steel is strong and cheap. Aluminum is light and familiar. Carbon fiber is expensive and difficult to work with, but it offers advantages that metal simply cannot match. The entire hull of the stiletto is a single molded piece of carbon fiber and epoxy composite.
This construction method yields a vessel that is incredibly lightweight, tipping the scales at just 45 tons unloaded. This makes it light enough to be hoisted onto a cargo ship for global deployment, yet strong enough to carry a 20-ton payload. But the tactical advantage lies in the electromagnetic spectrum. Carbon fiber is non-magnetic, making the ship immune to magnetic naval mines, a persistent threat in the shallow, contested waters where the stiletto operates. Furthermore, the material works in concert with the ship's faceted design to minimize its radar cross-section. On enemy radar screens, the 88-foot assault craft doesn't look like a ship. The angled plates deflect radar waves away from the source. Depending on the angle and the sea state, it might look like a small fishing buoy, a piece of floating debris, or perhaps nothing at all. This low observable characteristic allows the Stellaro to loiter in coastal areas, gathering intelligence or waiting for the go order without alerting coastal defense networks. Beneath the faceted deck lies the beating heart of the beast, four massive Caterpillar C-32 engines. These powerhouses churn out 1,232 kilowatts, 1,652 horsepower each, driving surface-piercing propellers that bite into the water with ferocity. This propulsion setup gives the Stiletto a range of 500 nautical miles, 900 kilometers, when fully loaded, enough to execute long-range insertion missions without the need for immediate refueling. However, versatility is key in the littorals. For operations requiring extreme shallow water access or beach landings, the Stiletto can be fitted with jet drives. This flexibility allows commanders to tailor the propulsion to the mission, whether it's a high-speed intercept in open water or a stealthy approach up a muddy river delta. Step inside the stiletto and the feeling of being in a sci-fi movie intensifies. The interior is not the cramped, oily belly of a traditional patrol boat. It is a modular, cavernous space designed around the electronic keel concept. In traditional shipbuilding, the electronic systems, radar, communications, navigation, weapons control, are hardwired into the vessel. Upgrading them requires cutting into bulkheads, rewiring miles of cable, and months in dry dock. The Stiletto took a different approach. It was built with a generic, open architecture data network running the length of the ship. It's essentially a floating server rack. If the Navy wants to test a new drone control system, a new laser rangefinder, or a new satellite uplink, they don't have to rebuild the ship. They simply plug the new hardware into the electronic keel, load the software, and go. This plug-and-play capability is powered by an onboard clustered supercomputer, a feature that was revolutionary in 2006 and remains critical today. This computing power allows the Stiletto to act as a central hub for a network of assets. It can launch a surveillance unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, from its topside flight deck, receive real-time video feeds, process the data, and relay actionable intelligence instantly to a SEAL team on the shore. The primary payload of the Stiletto, however, is human. The vessel is designed to carry a full 12-man SEAL team, along with their gear and support personnel. But it doesn't just ferry them, it deploys them with cinematic flair. The rear of the Stiletto features a hydraulic ramp that drops into the water, allowing the launch and recovery of an 11-meter rigid hull inflatable boat or an autonomous underwater vehicle, AUV, while the mothership is still moving. Picture the maneuver. The stiletto is running dark 10 miles off a hostile coast. The commander gives the order. The rear ramp lowers, churning the white water behind the vessel. Inside the well deck, the SEAL team boards their RIB. The engines of the smaller boat roar to life. As the stiletto maintains speed, the RIB slides off the ramp and into the wake, instantly accelerating toward the shore. The stiletto then peels away disappearing back into the deeper water to monitor the operation from a distance, its electronic ears listening for any sign of trouble. While the stiletto is capable of open ocean transit, its true home remains the green water, the rivers, estuaries, and archipelagos.
With a draft of only 2.5 feet .8 meters, the Stiletto can venture where virtually no other ship of its capability can go. In scenarios simulated in the swamps of Florida and the river deltas of South America, the Stiletto demonstrated the ability to race up river, insert a team, provide fire support, and extract them, all while navigating water so shallow that a standard Coast Guard cutter would run aground miles downstream. This shallow water capability is critical in the modern era, where adversaries increasingly hide in complex geography, using the terrain to shield themselves from the long-range sensors of the Blue Water Fleet. The vessel's width, 40 feet, gives it a massive deck area relative to its length. This allows it to launch and recover vertical takeoff UAVs with ease. In 2026, the Stiletto often operates not just as a transport, but as a mothership for a swarm of small attack drones, extending its lethal reach far beyond the line of sight of its crew. As we look at the Stiletto in 2026, the vessel shows the patina of two decades of hard use, but it remains cutting edge. The carbon fiber hull has held up against the corrosive salt air better than any steel ship ever could. The interior is now packed with AI-driven tactical assistance and holographic displays that didn't exist when the ship was launched. The legacy of the M80 Stiletto is not found in a massive fleet of sister ships, but in the DNA of the vessels that followed it. The lessons learned from the Stiletto's Pentamarin hull influenced the design of the latest generation of unmanned surface vessels, USVs, patrolling the Pacific. Its electronic keel architecture became the standard for the Navy's modular mission packages. The tactics developed by SEAL teams launching from its stern ramp rewrote the manual on maritime insertion. Despite expected costs of between six and $10 million each, a bargain in naval procurement terms, the Stiletto never saw mass production. It remained a unicorn, a unique tool for unique jobs. But perhaps that makes it more special. It stands as a testament to a moment when the Pentagon decided to take a risk on something radical. Today, as it slices through the waters of the Chesapeake Bay on yet another evaluation run, testing the next generation of stealth communications or drone swarms, the M80 Stiletto remains a testament to a different kind of naval power. It is proof that you don't always need the biggest ship with the biggest guns. Sometimes you just need a sharp knife wielded with precision in the dark. The Batmobile of the Seas is no longer just a prototype or a curiosity. It is a veteran of the silent war, a pioneer of carbon fiber warfare, and 20 years later, it is still the coolest thing on the water. Enjoyed the episode? Like and subscribe to Military Forces. For more in-depth content, your support helps us create more.